Namaskar. Hello and welcome to the Guru's channel. I'm your host, Sri Ayer. Joining me today is Sri T.G. Mohandas on the Kerala story, its impact across the country. Some states have banned it, some have, you know, not banned it, but ensured that it is not seen by people. All sorts of things are happening. Our co-guest, Savio Rodriguez is indisposed, so he could not join today. Hopefully, we'll have a follow-up session sometime very soon. So we will in- welcome Savio at that point of time. First of all, let's welcome our guest of the evening, Sri T.G. Mohandas. Mohandas Ji, Namaskar and welcome to P. Guru's channel. Namaskaram. Namaskaram. Uh, Mohandas Ji, uh, I think you saw the movie yesterday. Just give us an opening remark, sir, because then I want to share some videos and also how the current CPIM government is trying to prevent people from watching the movie. You can tell us how many theatres it is running and so on and so forth. Uh, I don't know the exact number of theatres which are screening uh, Kerala story, but there are plenty. There are few theatres which change their decision for some reasons. They are not showing it. But there is a reasonable viewership for uh, Kerala story in Kerala. And it is a mixed crowd. No, it's not a Sangha Parivar or BJP crowd. It's a mixed crowd which uh, I felt when I was uh, seeing the film. The film is basically, uh, that is uh, unraveling the activities of ISIS and the trauma which uh, Hindu and Christian girls are suffering in Kerala. They have uh, prominently displayed that we have we are inspired by a few real incidents, but it is uh, not the real story which we are depicting. Because you don't know what is happening inside ISIS camp. Therefore, you can only imagine that. So, those things are imagined. The other things are real. At the end of the film, they said that we have changed the name of the characters. Uh, for example, they have uh, they have a character, Gitanjali, who commits suicide. They said that Gitanjali's parents are still alive. But uh, they refuse to talk to us. Then uh, another girl, uh, they, she also, she is living somewhere else. The third girl, she is uh, uh, not traceable. Their family knows that, but they are not disclosing the destination, etc., etc. All those details have been given. So these two things were uh, heartbreaking. Uh, one thing, the trauma and the stage through which this type of uh, love jihad is putting the girls especially Hindu and Christian girls. And number two, the massive uh, operations of ISIS, which is happening somewhere in, inside Syria and uh, Syria, Turkey, border, other places, which are under the control of uh, UN peacekeeping force, but still they are operating there. Their ruthlessness in uh, treating women is uh, shown in a very brutal manner. A lady being raped, 10 times or 12 times by various people. Uh, all those things are uh, spine chilling scenes. And uh, Sudhi Tosan takes you or, as a witness to all these things, as if it is happening in front of our eyes. Therefore, it is a disturbing film. I must honestly say that it is not an anti Muslim film, but definitely it is anti ISIS film. It is not an anti-Muslim film, but definitely it is against the people who do this uh, activity, love jihad. It is against them. So therefore, it uh, did great service to two communities, namely uh, Hindu and Christian. Islam should have taken a cue from that, and they should have fought this ISIS. But their problem is, why the mainstream Islam is silent or somewhat complicit? Because ISIS is the true face of Islam. If you go by Quran, ISIS can be seen as going by Quran word by word, meaning by meaning. You cannot blame them. They are the real followers of Quran, not this uh, Muslim league or ordinary Muslim. He doesn't understand what is written in Quran. So if you go by Quran, then you cannot blame ISIS. That is why our OIC, Kerala Muslim League, uh, 
Sunni, Salafi, Jamaat Islami, all these people are keeping silent on ISIS because they know that ISIS is the real Islam. And they cannot uh, confront it. On what grounds you will confront? You know what ISIS says is there is no idol worship in uh, Islam. It's not permitted. Now, what is that you are doing in Mecca? You have a black stone there. You are taking, going round and round, production after production of that black stone. Is it not idol worship? So Mecca is to be destroyed. That is the message which uh, ISIS is bringing. That is why Saudi Arabia is mortally afraid of uh, ISIS. You know the, the gravity of uh, the situation in which we are in. An ideology, the real Islamic ideology has come out through ISIS. Even Al-Qaeda could not do that. Taliban could not do that. No one could do that. But ISIS did that. And ISIS showed us what is Islam and how it is being operated. This is my opening comment. I'm unable to hear you. So sorry about that. Uh, Why but today uh, my screen is getting uh, dark in between? Yeah, so th th there could be some connectivity issues. So far, uh, I have we are able to see you. Sometimes you may be having some issue, but so far everything is okay. Uh, we will no, let you know. It's not a connectivity a issue. It's not a connectivity issue. What happens is generally. Our phone gets switched off if not okay. in use. Okay. So this is what is happening. It uh, switches off automatically. I can uh, hear you. Hmm. Is your power? Uh, are, uh, is your? Uh, are you on phone? You are connect joined by phone, right? Ah, yeah. You joined by. Is is your phone in airplane mode by any chance? Do you know? I don't know. Anyway, I will do one thing. I'll uh, touch the phone in between. I'll touch the screen so that yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Activity, okay. activity. Just looking for yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Mohandas ji, just to give you a, um, a overall roundup. Um, overall roundup. What has happened is Tamil Nadu tried banning the movie, but the Madras High Court struck it down. But now what they have done is they have forced many of the uh, screen operators, theater operators, to not show it. Only one theater showed in Coimbatore. Uh, I don't know how many shows it got shown. You can check with, uh, you can update us. One theater, one show was there. 300 people watched it. 44 policemen were standing outside. This is the situation in Tamil Nadu. In West Bengal, after screening it for four days, they have shut it down. They have banned it now. And uh, we don't know why they let it show for four days. And then Mokta Didi, she, you know, she calls them. <laughs> Modi Danga Babu, she is the Danga Didi here. She is the one doing all the Danga. Anyway, so <laughs> this is where the situation is, sir. But before all this stuff, let us take a quick look at what Brinda Karat, the wife of Prakash Karat, number one or number two in the CPIM hierarchy, what she has to say about Love Jihad. Can we have that video, please? Draws in the window. You just see this handsome young Muslim you know, really witted guys on their mobiles, and immediately they fall in love with them and then they entice them to marriage, that they immediately convert to Islam. So, Brinda Karat is acknowledging that love jihad is a reality, how they carefully handpick the boys, good looking boys, um, you know, good looking boys with, uh, you know, flashy motorcycles and, you know, a lot of wealth to display, this is how they are trapping Hindu girls. This is one thing that also was emphasized by Dr. T.P. Sankumar. Remember Mohandas Ji, when he came to release my book in Kochi, you were there. Uh, Dr. T.P. Sankumar said yes. the same thing. Yes. Uh, and uh, so uh, th that, you know, our, our Hindu boy and, uh, and the Christian boy are coming up on broken bicycles and the Muslim boy has a flashy motorcycle, SD, Yamaha, whatever you want to call it. And, and the girls just fall for the material 
gifts that uh, be that are being showered so this is one situation now the, many years ago uh, the chief minister of kerala mr achyutanandan another cpim operative had this to say can we see the second video please so this was in 2010 uh, the poor man passed away in 2011 so cpim knows they have acknowledged that this is the top leadership that has acknowledged the existence of love jihad 10 12 years now and yet Mr. Pinarai Vijayan sees it in his infinite wisdom to try and somehow run this thing down. <laughs> what is happening? Is it CPIM or Muslim League in power right now, sir? No, uh, see, there is no direct connection between CPM and uh, Muslim League. Muslim League is uh, still with Congress very firmly. But CPIM is uh, depending on uh, Islamic fundamentalist votes like Popular Front of India, SDPI, uh, PDP, Welfare Party. There are so many uh, fringe parties uh, in Muslims. So they are garnering votes by pampering to their sentiments. But at the same time, uh, these people know uh, in private talk, they will agree that uh, this nonsense is going on, which was unknowingly uh, spoken by Brinda Karaj. I think Brinda Karad's video uh, is uh, of 2006 or so. I'll tell you what happened. There was a competition among journalists that who brought this uh, uh, Lao Jihad issue first. When the Kerala story was released, there was a huge discussion amongst the journalists through Facebook openly. Everyone claimed that I first uh, brought out this story. Though I don't agree that there is a general term called love jihad, but this type of operation is happening. Then some other journalists put, uh, then they started putting out videos. And what Brinda Karaj said is part of uh, one of the um, video, which he claims that he did it in 2006. Now in the final round, the Kerala Kaumudi newspaper won it because they flashed this story in 1998. Wow. He gave the he gave the photography uh, photocopy of his uh, weekly Kala Kaumudi in 1998. He is my friend also. He said that I was the one who wrote this story first in my weekly, then followed with my uh, newspaper. But you people were silent at that time. Now you are trying to take credit unnecessarily. This was his argument, but he won because nobody could uh, discredit him. Because he had all the documents with him. So he says, I was crying in wilderness from 1998. This is uh, happening. But nobody cared for me. My editor cared for me. He made uh, uh, frontline uh, stories, front page stories. But still, uh, Kerala ignored it. Why? Because Kerala is uh, afraid of uh, touching Islam. You know, the moment you open Quran and start discussing, you, you you just cannot have any defense on that. No, but out of 6,000 lines in Quran, one third, around 2,000 lines are how to kill kafirs, how to maim, butcher, rape, and whatnot. This is one third of uh, Quran. Nobody can deny that. They make a weak defense that, oh no, it was during war time. You cannot see, you cannot kill your enemy. At uh, any time, see, it is a blanket order. If it is a wartime order, it will be written as wartime order. At least you execute it uh, during wartime. But during peacetime also, you are killing infidels. And you say it is a wartime instruction. See, there is no logic uh, uh, in this. One cannot defend it. So what they decided was, let us not discuss Islam at all. Let us behave as if nothing has happened. If somebody is bringing contrary fact, let us ignore it. 
this principle was followed by all uh, newspapers and all news channels and finally when the first case came to the high court that was by two muslims right? they wanted anticipatory bail in a um, uh, abs corpus case then the judge ordered that every district maybe district police superintendent to file a uh, affidavit on what is happening and then only the truth came out by the time it was 2009 the judge is now retired he is justice kt shankaran he made a landmark judgment a detailed judgment um, pointing the activities of uh, law jihad one by one and he said even though there is no organization called law jihad or romeo jihad there is no letter head no president no secretary this uh, process is going on which is dangerous for the society and he said i am requesting government of kerala to bring an anti conversion law immediately forthwith before it is getting too late it was written in 2009 but even today there is no anti conversion law in kerala and for me i don't think even anti conversion law will help you but then at least that will be a good signal uh, to the society so cpm is doing for political reasons congress is doing it for political reasons uh they are uh, scoring uh, brownie points and um, poor muslim league they never wanted to support isis but they are also forced to join this chorus and they have sent a letter to cbfc saying that please withdraw this uh, license given to this film etc that shows how timid they are to uh, attack also because they could have gone to uh, high court when the case came up they did not muslim league did not oppose therefore muslim league is hesitant uh, to object to this film but it is cpm and congress which is taking uh, initiative now uh, pinarayi refused to ban this film but pinarayi's police is ensuring that the film is uh, being shown only in very few theaters because they issue an indirect warning to the theater owner saying that see we will give you police protection i will put uh, five or six policemen there beyond that if somebody is damaging your screen your uh, seats or somebody is uh, putting a, a fire setting fire to your theater then be careful you have to suffer i cannot take all the responsibility now this is an indirect threat and if you catch the police officer he will say that i was only issuing a warning i was cautioning him what are all the things who can take place but nothing happened in kerala except at a few theaters there was procession a protest by uh, youth congress then ncp and a loose crowd called fraternity that includes popular front also uh, by name fraternity for two days after that there are no demonstrations even the film is going on well so the government cannot take the law and order situation as an excuse to ban this film this is applicable to tamil nadu also see a government cannot ban a film in anticipation of law and order situation law and order situation has to be a fait accompli it happens therefore you can ban something it is not that it is likely to happen therefore i am banning no it is not possible it is illegal you cannot anticipate something which has not happened and go on uh, banning uh, creativity in india this is applicable to bengal also i think the uh, sudeep thosen will uh, fight the case and uh, he is likely to be not so if the supreme court is going with its own uh, uh, cases case history they have to allow sudita sins feelings in uh, bengal also they have to tell didi that uh, you have to take care of the law and order situation we cannot uh, afford to ban a creative uh, art of anybody that is called the freedom of expression that is um, applicable to this film also it is it's not again see isis is a uh, universally banned organization even in india it is a banned organization it is an offense to work for isis it is an offense to uh, speak in support of isis so therefore if you are blaming isis and you are taking a film it is uh, your uh, your right your uh, i mean fundamental right of uh, expression you cannot uh, state cannot uh, prevent that but okay uh, mamata didi did that 
I think uh, Chhattisgarh government is also under pressure for banning this film. They may also ban it uh, today or tomorrow. But uh, no untoward incident have been reported because of this film from any place. Now Stalin is also using his muscle power or police to indirectly threaten the theater owners. What they will do? They will have to. Theater owners are, uh, you know, now uh, big uh, corporates are owning the theaters, not like a single owner theater. These are all big people. Now take the case of Mohanlal and his deputy uh, Anthony Perumbau. Both put together, they own 36 theaters. And the news is that Mohanlal decided not to show Kerala story in any of his theaters. And social media is criticizing him. Why Modi gave him, uh, Modi gave, made him a major, major rank was given to him. All those stars, everything is with Mohanlal. And this Mohanlal is afraid of uh, Islamic fundamentalists is uh, not a good thing to happen. So this social media is creating and Mohanlal is always clever. He will not say, utter a word about any controversy whatsoever. That is his uh, <laughs> tactics of, uh, I mean, overtaking the controversies. You just keep quiet. The controversy will uh, blow out after a few days and he will regain his uh, status. Maybe that is his uh, strategy. I don't blame him. But apart from that, there are a few people in uh, Kerala, in every town almost, uh, except Trishur also. Uh, theatres are uh, showing this uh, Kerala story without any problem. Yesterday I went, there was no problem at all. Absolutely. I went with my wife. That you for a show starting at 8.30 in the night. So you can uh, imagine. It's an absolutely peaceful atmosphere. So there, there is uh, no problem at all. Thank you. Now, uh, let's take a quick look at some of the legal uh, play that has been happening in Kerala as well as in New Delhi. So you said that in 2009, there was a judgment and it explicitly called out the word love jihad. Now, if I remember correctly, a few years ago, somebody raised a query in the parliament that whether... No, the voice is breaking identity. I see. Uh, I I am fine. Uh, can, can can our editor confirm is my voice breaking? Because if that is the case, then I'll go out. All good. All good. All I'm, good. I'm I, I'm unable to make out anything from your uh, words. Um, I know you are speaking, but I am okay. unable to comprehend. Can, can you log out and log back in? Log out, please reconnect. Okay. While he reconnects, I just would like you to like this video. The, the viewership is very low. I know you all want to know what is happening in Karnataka as well as perhaps IPL. This is more important. This concerns our lives and the future of our children. What are we doing? And, and what kind of risks are they facing? And this is all we have been. We are the generation that let this thing happen. Remember... Uh, 1998 is the first time. Can you hear me better now, sir? Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. The question is like the, like this. 2009, the judgment came on Love Jihad. Recently, a few years ago, two or year, three years ago, there was a question asked in the parliament, is the term Love Jihad happening in India? And the Minister of State for Home said, no, it is not happening. Kind of walk us through what went through the thinking of the Home Ministry when they came up with this answer, Mohandas Ji? See, they don't want to rub Islam on the wrong side. This is that the is truth though. See, they could have given a comprehensive answer saying that there is uh, no organization called Love Jihad. There is no president, no secretary. But as the courts have found this process of converting Hindu and Christian girls and exporting them for uh, terrorist activities or selling them in flesh market is happening. Few cases are with the NIA. Their cases are being duly prosecuted. This would have been a comprehensive answer. But uh, definitely, I am sure that the government doesn't want to make it a controversy. So they said uh, there is no love jihad finished. You can interpret it in either way. You can say that the government said there is no love jihad. 
but they have not denied the process they have not denied the nia cases they have not denied anything they only said that there is no love jihad that is why people like me say that okay there is no love jihad but why, which name by which name you are going to call this process grooming gangs the process can, is happening yeah these are nothing but grooming gangs sir because they are gangs the same fellow traps 3 4 5 girls sometimes he is already married he has already got three wives this is the fourth one is like circling through again and again see this has become nonsense i i i many youth are not getting married on the one side and this is happening on the other side and and at least the least this government could have done was to bring in ucc even that they have not done what for you have a 3 or 3 majority sir i i mean i'm just clueless about this please go ahead you are going to answer my question yeah uh, i'll tell you it's all uh, pure politics see uh, people are not much worried about the uh, ucc only enlightened citizens of india are worried about ucc do you know uh, how many percentage of people are uh, worried about uh, ucc it may be less than 10% of indian population kon janta hai is kisko pata hai so uh, this ignorance is the strength of any administration leave alone modi administration any administration runs on the ignorance of the people if people i don't know everything what is happening in the administration probably they will change the governments every day that is the way governments are functioning so ucc if the politicians want they can create an issue if they don't want they can keep it in back burner during next elections probably modi's uh, trump card will be ucc ucc in fact foolishly muslims are disagreeing with ucc because you have not even seen the draft of a ucc still uh, people think that it is anti islam few hindus like uh, your uh, advocate uh, sai deepak he is also against ucc he says no hindus will be much more uh, affected by ucc than uh, islam and uh, you know there is no draft of ucc no one has seen it everybody is uh, talking in dark this is ucc and this darkness is good for political campaigning you speak about ucc without explaining what is ucc hum uniform civil code layenge bas ho gaya then uh, muslim starts uh, shouting and hindus feel that uh, yes uh, this is to be done so you you make a clear division and garner hindu votes this, this is called politics so in 2024 also you need an issue to address at the last minute you see during karnataka elections when did uh, uh, prime minister uh, mentioned about uh, kerala story film on the last day of campaigning he used that card till that time he was behaving as if uh, such a film does not exist at all so that was a political statement which he used at the last moment if he uses two days earlier there could be a counter for that so he want to ensure that his word becomes the final on the final day of campaign he makes the speech so that the other side doesn't have any chance to uh, give it back rebut yeah this is how politics is being played so <laughs> whatever the the home minister gave reply or deputy home minister gave reply in uh, lok sabha is a political reply not actual reply <laughs> well uh, be that as it may we have uh, some uh, good questions coming up let's take a few questions please i'll read out the question for you sir just one second true indian wants to know namaste ayer sir and mohan sir why supreme court can't demand lifting the ban regionally so all indians get educated on the safety issue of women see supreme court can do that but the legal position is that such things are to be done by high court now first these people uh, went to kerala high court kerala high court uh, didn't impose a ban it gave an uh, interim order uh supporting the film saying that uh we have not seen the film but we saw the trailer and the teaser in between uh, 
the producer submitted that we will withdraw the uh, teaser the trailer will continue so the court found that teaser is a separate thing for publicity trailer is a piece of a film that is the sample of a film which is taken from the film teaser could be anything it need not necessarily have a connection with the uh, uh, film so since uh, the producer said that he is withdrawing the teaser from social media what is remaining you have not seen the film i have not seen the film then uh, nothing remains so i am admitting your petition against the film subject to uh, uh, let people see the film and let us uh, collect uh, uh, feedback and then uh, still there is problem we will interfere so it is an interim order now this interim order has been challenged by the interested parties in the uh, supreme court that is what supreme court is going to uh, uh, examine on monday the system is like that uh, except uh, fundamental rights case you cannot directly agitate anything in uh, supreme court you have to go through high court your every grievance has to be addressed by lower court then district court then high court and then supreme court only one thing is exception that is your fundamental rights if your fundamental rights are banned then you can go to uh, supreme court that means if the film is banned then sudito sen can go to supreme court but if the film is released by cbfc any aggrieved party cannot go to supreme court they have to go to high court because it is his fundamental right he has exercised and you are going against his fundamental right so please go to high court let the high court decide this is what the supreme court said that is our uh, legal system is designed like that so there is nothing wrong in uh, supreme court uh, referring it back to uh, high court and high court will have a final say and that order can be challenged again in supreme court this is the course of action next question please magnet ranga wants to know seculars don't want some anti hindi films banned they say if people don't want to watch they would not why ban but these very seculars want this film banned why the double standard yeah it is definitely a double standard which the seculars have uh, always been taking i don't know why the questioner should wonder about this since inception of the left and naxal jihadi idea they were following double standards they have one standard for uh, muslims other standard for kafirs they have one standard for uh, working class so called working class other standards for uh, capitalists so double speak double talk double standards were always there throughout the history of the left uh, liberal wo naxal jihadis so there is uh, i don't uh, get surprised by this type of double talk it has been so every time and they take advantage they, you know people uh, uh, memory is short as is being quietly quite often said so people forget this uh, old standard they go by the new standard a uh, people like you and me will point out oh no 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 this is not what you did in 1971 etc but no then uh, the public is uh, in a trance they go with uh, this logic and sometimes they come in the reverse way so this is what happens with 140 crores of uh, people you cannot expect everybody to go by logic uh, magnet ranga meant i think anti hindu films ban not anti hindi uh, that's okay i think we understood the question correctly next one please true indian wants to know maybe the screwed sex ratio differences is also because of such women kidnapped by these gangs It's one of the reasons there's also female infanticide what is that i don't uh... the the skewed not screwed skewed skewed s k e w e d 900 okay. 940 girls for every 1000 men that's a ratio sex ratio difference is also because of such women kidnapped by these gangs is it true is it possible that go ahead no no uh, see you can make any guess because no scientific study has taken place uh into this uh, phenomena in fact kerala is having more women than men i think for every 1000 men 1094 women are there in uh, kerala that is the ratio so to link it directly to the ratio i don't have uh, data 
nobody has conducted such a survey dear haryanvis who are finding difficulty to get brides please move to kerala then everything will be all right you can you have to you have to have five five children per family though that is a minimum requirement anuradha uh, wants to know go ahead sir that's a, uh, that's a good solution very good solution uh, we must uh, forget about this state boundaries because state boundaries were all created by us way back in 1956 57 sixty do you know tamil nadu was created somewhere in 1962 yes, 50, 56 karnataka was yeah. created later on kerala was created in 1956 haryana was created much later on 67 so, i think yeah so we must forget about this uh, boundaries kya hai haryana we kerala it is that sab bhul jao hum bhartiya hai come to kerala marry him uh, if you want if you like it is all your personal choice who is preventing you nobody will prevent you if somebody wants some personal help i am ready to uh, uh, extend that don't, don't worry the kerala is still a stable uh, place in spite of uh, the jihadi apparatus anuradha wants to know tg sir why is lulu mall not showing this movie in any of their malls in kochi or trivandrum are out of fear out of fear kya karega if somebody is damaging the theater what will be the laws who will give him compensation so people are afraid you know people lose money it it involves lakhs of rupees to create a multiplex and then show films so koi sochta hai ki bhaiya faltu kyon ye jhanjhat mein padna hai okay there may not be violence also somebody took the risk the shanai theater took the risk everybody appreciate shanai but you know the very shanai refused to show pura mudal pura vare the ramasimhan philip for which uh, myself and ramasimhan were fighting in uh, high court shanai did not show that so it is their assessment the theater owners assessment of the situation assessment of the risk according to that they take their decision that is all next question please ridiman agarwal wants to know sir by when will the hindi version of pura mudal pura vare be released i don't know i i was told that uh, during last month ramasman told me it will take uh, another uh, two weeks everything is ready he is uh, getting some distributing uh, agency something like that after that i didn't spoke to him i think shortly it should uh, happen probably he is waiting for the kerala story to Uh, go out of the theaters and then uh, flash this that also could be one of the reason because otherwise both their uh, commercial interests will uh, clash that is also one reason but uh, uh, ramasimhan is happy with the kerala story he is fighting uh, for kerala story through facebook also several posts he has made in supporting uh, kerala story in fact ramasimhan is supporting kerala story more than what he supported his own film <laughs> no i think he is an honest hindu he does yes, okay mera film to hai kerala mein release ho gaya ab bahar hindi mein release karna hai wo chahe agle mahine karenge now let the kerala story run that also is a prudent decision we cannot blame him being a good man he might have taken that decision also but uh, i am yet to speak to him and uh, probably in the next program i may be able to tell you after speaking to Yes sir thank you so much next question from magnet ranga again namaskaram sir are they using drugs hypnotism etc to entice the girls yes magnet ranga you should i don't know we there was a video that we put out of uh, tg uh, dr sen kumar but the quality wasn't very good so we had to withdraw the pull the video yes absolutely they do use drugs they do use hypn- hypnotism i'm not so sure there is money there is flashiness there is also drugs go ahead mohanda ji remember that talk that dr tp sen kumar gave yeah 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 see, january it, uh, goes without saying see drug addiction is a very serious thing unlike uh, alcohol or tobacco drug addiction can take place uh, within 48 hours of started uh, starting using it so drugs are being used that is called narcotic jihad the word was coined by that uh, bishop christian bishop 
Pala uh, Bishop. Uh, he used the word narcotic jihad. What do they do is they mix uh, drugs in uh, apple juice, orange juice, etc., and uh, offer it to these girls so that these girls will become some sort of slave of this boy. She will feel like uh, going to the same parlor and have a milkshake or an orange juice. He will, uh, she will beg him, take me to that uh, shop. I want to drink that again. That was so sweet, etc. She never knows that it is the drugs which is working. The third day, the boy will say that uh, I don't have money. You have to pay today. Then she will say, I'll pay the money. I'll pay the money. But, but please take me. This is how they are being trapped. So drugs are being used indiscriminately to trap the girls. And hypnotism, uh, you know, in the technical sense, hypnotism is not being used. But counseling is being used. Uh, counseling against uh, Hinduism. Saying that, why should you have these many gods? All these uh, dialogues are shown by Sudhito Sen in the film. Why should you have a uh, god? If one god is uh, all powerful, then why to have 33 crores of gods, etc., etc.? This type of uh, clever questioning and trapping, then guilt trapping that you have caste system, you had untouchables once upon a time. Are TK, there were untouchables once upon a time, but today it's all gone. That is a good answer. But, uh, you know, this lady being uh, psychologically inferior uh, to Islam, she will think that, oh, what a horrible thing uh, my ancestors have done. What nonsense. Why don't they fight playing? back? Why don't they fight back saying 90% of the Islamic community is Pasmanda and you treat them just like, you know, people, whatever you are accusing the Hindus of, you treat them the same way. That 90% uh -huh. of the power, sir, so one second, sir, 90% of the power that the Muslims wield is within 10% of their community calling themselves as Ashrafias. They are the ones who have the power. The 90% of the population has nothing. Why don't they counter them? Sir, some research somebody has to do. See, uh, these girls are of the age of uh, 16, 17, 18 when the process starts. You cannot accept the girls to go through an interrogation by a studied Islamist. The other side, they are well studied about your Vedas, the weak point, what are all the weak points of Hinduism, they will listen. Sir, even in Hinduism, there's only one God, sir. There, even in Hinduism, there's only one God. How hard is it for the parents to explain? Parabrahma is everything. It is polymorphism. It's You see God in anything. That's what the Hinduism is about. It gives you full, you know, freedom to worship what you think is God. Because Parabrahma has no, no Rupa, Nirguna Swarupa, right? Uh, yeah, it is true. That is why Sri Ayur is not converted to Islam. And a 17-year-old girl from a village is converted to Islam. <laughs> she doesn't have all these arguments with her, sir. Already she is an addict of drug. Already she is overawed by the facilities which is being offered. They will take her to their house during holidays. They will entertain her. You just see the Kerala story. Sudhip Tosan shows how systematically she is being trapped. Yeah, you see, what is an ordinary Hindu, ordinary Christian? Christian goes to the church, Hindu goes to the temple maximum. Khatam. We don't think much about that. Even Muslims are, as you rightly said, 90% Muslims are also so. But this 10% clever people like uh, Sakir Naik, they uh, pick and choose the weaknesses of Hinduism and pose these questions so that this 16-year-old uh, girl become helpless. She feels it's a legitimate question. How do I answer that? She can even say that I don't, I don't just want to discuss religion with you, to help with your uh, question. This also can be one answer. But uh, she is mentally weak. Already she is made weak. They start speaking religion once you get weak. You know what Sudhito Sen shows that. They go to a shopping mall and some fellow creates a mischief there, sexual mischief. And then uh, this uh, two Hindu girls and a one Christian girl, 
they protest uh, the boy becomes uh, aggressive other boys join him and uh, attack sir they tear their uh, dress all these nonsense take place and when they come back to hostel the lady uh, with the hijab she says you see uh, you didn't wear hijab if you had the hijab then nobody would have touched you because allah is the protector allah will protect anybody who is wearing a hijab the next day all these three girls they wear hijab for their protection then you are not converted you just wear it so that uh, you can scare away all these uh, mischief makers that was the formula so step by step step by step they invite you you don't know you are walking into the trap you will realize it only after getting pregnant that, that is that is the play that is why we call it love yaag so but see it is a very easy to blame hindu girls why don't you teach this why don't you learn this are kon that it is not our system at all what do we do generally a hindu we go to the temple offer some uh, puja dakshina something we uh, pray and we come back that's all we leave it at that own padta hai yes we are not ever ready for a debate with the uh, islam or christianity and you know they try this game with 10 girls they will capture two or three seven will not uh, succumb to their uh, tactics so but three is sufficient for them three becomes the news three becomes the motivation three becomes the money all uh, things can be done with this three nobody will speak about the seven and the seven will not come out in uh, saying that uh, i was also led to the trap by i cleverly escaped this story will not come out this is the problem and uh, this type of girls are there in arsha vidya samajam in trivandrum that manoj yes, is yes. Uh, holding that institute he is yes, doing yes. human uh, service you speak to him it will be good for enlightening our uh, audience sir we, we did a service? we did a three part episode already sir arshavaidya gurukulam we did a three part oh. episode it came two years very ago good. we are very much uh, see p guru is really ahead of this thing we understand mm -hmm. where the concerns are again another reason why viewers you should be liking this video uh, i don't see enough crowd today i don't i can't explain it i hope it's not a shadow ban on part of somebody but whatever it is please like this video and give it the best chance of going viral uh, next question please ritiman agarwal wants to know mohandas ji and sri ayer ji what do you think who do you think will win in karnataka are you know in 2 3 days yaar let it let it go we are talking about love jihad let's not answer about this it's okay we wants to know sir is it true about this sajad who trapped nimisha it is true it's a true story next question please arvin gopalan wants to know sir zakir zakir naik has brainwashed scores of hindus will the government handle these intellectuals to curb lav jihad he also claimed that upanishads forbid idol worship etc this is nonsense yeah see uh, uh, government cannot interfere with everything society has to be very strong kitna karega government has its own limitations legal limitations uh, we feel that somebody is speaking nonsense but he has got a right to speak nonsense the only thing is that we have got a right to ignore that nonsense or counter that nonsense that is the only way of uh, countering this the problem is uh, hindus have never confronted any religion that is because hindus doesn't basically proselytize the hindu religion is not proselytizing islam christianity other people they are uh, i mean uh, in various degrees they are proselytizing there is a process by which you can convert somebody now hinduism doesn't have that process this was brought by dayanand saraswati of uh, arya samaj he made the first attempt to uh, make a procedure for reconversion even though before him there was devala smriti in which uh, there are methods of reconverting to news uh, it was ignored but it was uh, arya samaj shuddhi movement was the first movement solid uh, movement by reconverting people 
there are certain strengths of hindus which we understand as weaknesses we are not uh, proselytizing that is our strength that is our uh, goodness it is not a bad thing number 2 we don't have the word divorce in any of indian language tell me is there is something no no uh, there in malayalam we call vivaha mochanam that means freeing somebody freeing somebody from uh, marriage now freeing somebody from marriage is not divorce it doesn't uh, give the gravity of divorce there is no karma no ritual of divorce in any community you take no indian community have this uh, ritual of divorce is it not a good thing because we don't conceive this idea of divorce when we marry we marry in good faith that we will be married for uh, seven janmas these are all strengths of uh, hindutva which must be uh, taught to our children also you know uh, professor r v always joke that his wife tells him yeah we may have been married seven janmas this is definitely the seventh one <laughs> I I also wish so. <laughs> P. Bharat my, wants to know. My wife is a bit far away, so she will not be listening to my dialogue. <laughs> Wait till your daughter plays it back to her. <laughs> Bharat wants to know why is Islam so well aligned with communist sponsor? It's you see communists think uh, they can uh, uh, garner votes from Islam. but islam is going to win ultimately see communism was first uh, seed was sown in afghanistan now there is, there is no communism in afghanistan then they argued for pakistan the communist party is not there in pakistan then they argued for kashmir there is no com- communism in kashmir so now they are uh, reduced to kerala but still they argue for islam so okay, in kerala also islam will win and the communist party will die now communism they are one person away they, they are yeah. one person away from becoming an islamic ruled state yeah they are one person See, away from being ruled as an islamic state they see they gave malappuram district to muslim league muslims yes now there is no mla from uh, malappuram district they don't have any mla so uh, they are dying their natural death and as you said the, the second man is uh, ready uh, uh, they are only waiting for the death of the first man and he's only, he's only natural. in his 30s or 40s right he's only in his 30s or 40s yeah he is very young known pfi links too Okay. He wants to know, sir. I meant this. Is this Sajad running some restaurant, or Nimisha is in Afghanistan? Ah, uh, Sajad is running a restaurant. Uh, that is, I think, uh, Pizza Hut in uh, Trivandrum. He is comfortable because, you know, when it comes to the court, what is the case? He had a love affair with Nimisha, which uh, either Nimisha or he. chose to uh, denounce there ends the matter anybody can love anybody and one day say i i no more love you i cannot marry you that's all so sajad is apparently he has not committed any crime in front of the court or police so he is happily uh, continuing what did he do has he cleverly um, brought this uh, nimisha into his circle and then handed it uh, handed her over to some other fellow and he carried from there so sajad is not culpable of uh, any offense under ipc so he is happily living what can you do sudarshan sarathi wants to know we keep our schools christianized our politics islam first our society is non hindu so how do we expect to win this war just by making a few youtube videos no not by youtube videos uh, but youtube videos help definitely in the ground level don't you understand there is a political change you may have thousand problems with uh, narendra modi i agree but still 
there is a change in the center there is change in states also there is change in uh, uh, your uh, cultural feel that is why all these uh, films come now you see pulamudal uh, pulavare was a pro hindu film then came the kerala story now adi purush is going to come uh, then uh, uh, another uh, 71 what happened in 71 war that is going on so all these pro hindu pro nation films why they are coming because there is a market for them what is the indication of market because people are there to watch the film so people are people of india are slowly walking towards hindutva and uh, nationalism this change uh, maybe we are a bit uh, impatient that change is not happening at the rate at which it should happen okay i'm sorry for that but uh, change always requires some time it may not be uh, justifiable but it is slow that is a fact but definitely uh, change is happening you cannot uh, denigrate hindus like what you used to do 10 years uh, earlier can you no there are several hindus will stand up and question you so this change has definitely taken place uh, that's Maybe all for some yes sir I, i'm having some um, microphone issues uh, mohandas ji do you mind if we uh, call this thing a close now yeah uh, we, we can meet next wednesday what is that yes um, thank you so much uh, i'm sorry if we missed out some questions i'm having some technical difficulties on my end it will take me to go offline and come back it might take a few minutes i don't know but i think we're almost at the end of the program thank you once again mohandas ji and as always please like share and subscribe to our channel don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications namaskar thank you